Tonight, charges have been dropped against 57 people arrested during a pro-Palestinian protest at the University of Texas this week. The Travis County Attorney's Office made the announcement today. Criminal trespass charges were filed against the group Wednesday. By Thursday, they were all released from custody. Officials say law enforcement lacked probable cause. This comes as another deadline has come and go for pro-Palestinian demonstrators to break down their encampment on the campus of Columbia University. Students around the country are demanding their schools cut ties with companies that do business with Israel, and law enforcement has been cracking down. Michael George has the latest. As talks between school administrators and pro-Palestinian protesters on Columbia's campus continue, pro-Israeli demonstrators, mostly non-students, made their voices heard outside. Nobody's talking about the hostages. This Columbia grad student who took part in the rally worries those in the encampments are forgetting about the hostages still being held by Hamas. If you actually want peace to be achieved as we do, and if you want a ceasefire, the hostages need to be released. The students have been calling on the school to divest financially from companies that do business with Israel, angry over the ongoing war and humanitarian situation in Gaza. They believe they can outstand us. We tell them that they cannot. Columbia is working to regain control by keeping outsiders out. Security is now checking IDs to make sure only students and staff can get in. It was a different scene at Ohio State overnight. At least three people, including a graduate student, were arrested after setting up an encampment near the Student Union Center. Video posted on social media Thursday showed officers tearing down tents at Emory University in Georgia and appearing to tase someone pinned to the ground. Despite the crackdown on some campuses, pro-Palestinian demonstrators at UCLA say they're staying put. We are here to make sure that the UC is not um, actively funding the violence that's happening abroad. The University of Southern California announced it's canceling its main graduation ceremony, citing safety concerns. Columbia University's graduation is still set for May 15th. Michael George, CBS News, New York.